to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. Bhopal, the capital of Madhya Pradesh that is known for its lakes and for its Nawabi era buildings. It also holds a unique place in the history of India, being the capital of the only princely state with four generations of successive female rulers who are referred to as the Begums of Bhopal. While the Begums built a number of iconic buildings in the city, the Minto Hall is among the most unique for its many avatars. Originally built as a Darbar Hall to welcome the British Viceroy over the years, it has been used as army headquarters, finance office, a college, even as the Madhya Pradesh Vidhan Sabha and presently as the convention centre. In 1901, Nawab Sultan Jaha Begum became the 12th ruler of Bhopal. Sultan Jaha Begum's mother, Nawab Shah Jaha Begum, had built a number of grand buildings in Bhopal, such as the famous Taj Ul Masjid. Sultan Jaha Begum, continuing the legacy, wanted to build a grand Darbar Hall to entertain the state dignitaries and hold Darbars. The state visit of the Viceroy of India, Lord Minto, to Bhopal in 1909 was a matter of great honour to the Begum. It was to mark the centenary of the alliance between the British Raj and the Bhopal Kingdom. This visit was used to mark the construction of the new building and the foundation stone of the new Darbar Hall, which was laid by Lord and Lady Minto on November 12, 1909. The Begum wanted to do her best to show her loyalty and gratitude to the British Empire and so decided to name the hall after the vice-regal couple as the Minto Hall. The hall was to be constructed in a fusion of British colonial and Nawabi style. An urban folklore even suggests that the eight towers of Minto Hall were meant to resemble the Imperial Crown of India worn by King George V. Ironically, due to paucity of funds and political turmoil, the construction went on for almost 24 years and was finally completed in 1933. By then, the political situation in India had completely changed. Indian freedom movement was at its prime and Sulta Jaha Begum had abdicated in favour of her son, Nawab Hamidullah Khan, in 1926. The new Nawab had different priorities and on its completion, the Minto Hall first served as the headquarters of the Bhopal Army, then finance offices and later as an inter-college. In 1947, India became independent and the Nawab rule of Bhopal came to an end. Following the creation of Madhya Pradesh in 1956, Minto Hall served as the Vidhan Bhavan or State Assembly right until 1996, when it was shifted to a new building. Recently, the Minto Hall has been renovated and has taken a new avatar as a convention centre, a unique monument that has changed its role as per the changing times. Minto Hall continues to remain relevant for Bhopal even today.